Hi folks, I'm Commander Addy Dane and this is Elite Dangerous Does the Sky at Night where real life crosses over into Elite Dangerous where you can look up at the night sky at a star and say I've been there The galaxy in Elite Dangerous is made up of 400 billion stars It's a simulation of our own Milky Way and it's based on real science fact In this episode we'll be looking at Orion the Hunter, my favourite constellation in the northern hemisphere you can see him during the winter months up until about April high in the sky early evening. The rest of the year he spends in the southern hemisphere. Okay so let's take a look at the stars that make up Orion now shall we? We have Bellatrix 252 light years away. Mesa at 1055 light years away. Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse, which apparently is a pulsating variable star at almost 500 light years away. In fact, it, this star is so large that if it replaced the Sun in our solar system, it actually swamp Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, and maybe even Jupiter. It's that big. It's not the largest star in the galaxy, though. And at the bottom, we have Regal, which is the brightest star in Orion at 862 light years away safe at 647 light years away okay so the three stars in Orion's belt are Alnatak at 817 light years away Alanum at almost 2000 light years away and Mintaka which is 916 light years away so hanging from Orion's belt is his sword. Now if you look up at the night sky, you will see three fuzzy stars. In fact, one of them is a star, which is Hatsia, and that is 2,330 light years away. But the other two objects are actually nebulas. This large one here, this is Orion's nebula, or the great nebula in Orion. The only nebula you can actually see with the naked eye. And I've seen the Ryan Nebula in my own telescope. It looks pretty impressive. You can see all the dust and the clouds, but it doesn't look like this. This is a long exposure shot, so it collects all the light. A lot more light than your own eye can pick up, of course. There are other nebula. You have the Horsehead Nebula. And then you have M78. And down here you have the Witch Head Nebula. But none of these are actually visible with the naked eye. You need a very powerful telescope to see these deep sky objects. Okay, so let's take a look at a Orion in Elite Dangerous from the orbit of Earth. It's very easy to find Orion in the Sol system. You just need to locate Bernard's Loop, and Orion is smack bang in the middle of it. There you can see Betelgeuse and the other stars, and you can also see the Witch Head Nebula. Now, of course, as you look up at the sky, you don't actually see Bernard's Loop. Uh, and that is because it's quite faint and you can only see it with a long exposure. We're going to be visiting the stars in order of distance from Earth. So we start our tour with Bellatrix at 252 light years away. It's just a lonely B-class blue-white star which is almost 230 million years old. It's twice as large as our Sun but almost four times as much mass. Okay so we're off to Betelgeuse now at 498 light years away. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant. So huge in fact that when you jump into the system you arrive 2683 light seconds away from it. It lives fast and dies young and scientists believe that it will go supernova pretty pretty soon. However, because it's so far away we won't know that it's gone supernova until another 500 years have passed. This time lapse was taken from Betelgeuse 3. You can just see how massive this star is. It has a quarter of the mass of Sol, but it's 640 times as large. There are four planets in the system and two of them are landable. I wasn't able to land on Betelgeuse 2 because it is so close to the star and I was taking damage. However, you can land on Betelgeuse 3 and because you're so close to the star, you can actually still scoot fuel. 647 light years away is safe which is a Class A blue-white supergiant. It has 13 times the mass of Sol and is 3 times as large. The next star on our tour is Ulnatak and in real life it is 817 light years away.
Olden Attack is a Class O type star. It has 26 times more mass than Sol and is three times as large. In total, there are nine stars in this system. Two of them are scoopable and there are 12 landable planets. I must say I really enjoyed this system. It's really interesting and very pretty. Most of the stars have really intricate, very large ring systems, which make up for some really good viewing. And some of the planets are amazing to look at as well. Just take a look at this ring system, always different colors, different shades. Now this star, this really kind of blew me away. That is one hell of a big ring system. And in fact, it has three planets orbiting it inside the ring system. Two of these planets are landable and you can see them here. Two totally different planets, different colors, orbiting each other and the star. You get some amazing views from the surface, especially if you speed it up. In this time lapse, you can see the neighboring planet and the star that we're orbiting around setting on the horizon. And a bit further up there, you can see another planet coming into view, which is orbiting the same star. The next star is Regal, at 862 light years away. Regal is a binary star system and upon arrival you arrive at Regal B which is a class B star with a solar mass of 9 and a radius of 3.8 which is much smaller but much heavier than Regal A which is a class A star with a solar mass of 5.9 and a radius of 55.6 Both stars are 966 million years old and you get an awesome view of the Witch Head Nebula and Barnard's Loop cluster of deep sky objects Next on our Orion list is Mintaka, which is 916 light years away. Mintaka has four stars, but only one of them is scoopable, which is the main class O star, which is 554 million years old. It has almost 100 times as much mass as our own sun, but is only two and a half times as large. Two out of the five planets are landable. Mintaka also has a black hole, with a landable planet nearby and doesn't it look amazing with the nebulas behind it I was out here for quite a while just gawping at this wonder our next star is Mesa also known as 39 Labna Orionis which is 1055 light years away Mesa forms the center of a small star cluster called Colander 69 it's an O-class star of about 44 million years old. There are 12 stars in total, only one scoopable, and only one out of the eight planets are landable. The last star on our list is Alnium, also known as Epsilon Orionis, which is 1,976 light years away. Alnium is a Class B blue-white star of about 810 million years old. There are three stars in total, and one of them is scoopable. Out of the four planets, three of them are landable, and one of them has a high gravity of 7 Gs. And finally, Alnium has a black hole. So Orion is very famous for its nebulas, so let's finish off by taking a look at them. Looking at Elite Dangerous Galaxy map, you can see Orion Nebula there. It looks like a baseball glove. You can also see the Running Man, and behind them is the Flamehead Nebula, Barnard's Loop, and the Horsehead Nebula. First off is the Great Orion Nebula, with its deep crimson reds and dark areas. From here you can see the Running Man against the background. Here we are in the middle of the Running Man Nebula with its misty blue and white and intricate thin blue veins. This is the Flamehead Nebula with reds and oranges and a large black shadowy structure. Barnard's loot stretches for hundreds of light years 
and here you can see the wispy thin reds so thin that you can see other nebula through such as the Horsehead Nebula where we're going next here we're right next door to the Horsehead Nebula you can see complex red and orange cloud structures with waves and shadows it's absolutely stunning and here we have what seems to be a red sandy beach overlooking the ocean with dark rash type intricate veins so thank you very much for watching I hope you did enjoy the sky at night with Elite Dangerous looking at the Orion constellation I've been working on this for a while so let me know what you think give us a thumbs up or thumbs down and uh, if you have any favourite constellations that you would like me to investigate, please put in the comments below. And don't forget to look up the sky at night and wonder which stars you've been to. Right, I'm now off to Jack Station, which is now 22,000 light years away. And if you go in, I'll see you there. Bye bye now, and fly safe, commanders. Wow. Shut the front door. Oh, wow. Oh, this is even better than the running man now. So there's a running man there. Must be. This is space. That that looks eerily and eerie and spooky oh wow it doesn't actually look flat the thing with the with space other than it being black and lots of lots of it it's just flat there's it's no point of reference if you go oh wow it looks like I'm flying through an atmosphere a cloud <laughs>